year, the best of the British university running scene take to the mud for the Bucks Cross Country Championships to battle it out for the coveted title. Previous winners include Emil Caress, Alex Millard, Mohamed Mohamed and Paula Radcliffe and in 2024 it's being hosted by Leeds University in Temple Newsome Park. I think the good thing about Bucks is that as well as it being really hotly contested at the front of the A race with some proper sub-elite runners racing, universities can enter as many runners as they want to. So on that note I'm going to be running as part of the Newcastle University team. A firm favourite to win on the men's side this year is Will Barnacoat, who's coming off the back of a European cross-country title, but will be challenged by fellow Birmingham student Tamer Tarragano, Loughborough's Alex Malloy or Cambridge's Jeremy Dempsey. With Megan Keith not running for the women, Amelia Quirk of Birmingham or Beth Morley of Loughborough will be vying for the win, with close competition from Cambridge's Phoebe Barr. <laughs> So it's the day before Bucks and I'm just out for a little shake out, just getting the legs turning over really. And then we're heading off to Bradford today where we're staying in a hotel, off to Leeds tomorrow for the big day. made it to Bradford and I've done a little bit of an extra shake out. Didn't really need to do it but partly got a bit of that kind of nervous excitement in the legs um, and that coach seat was not very comfortable so I thought it's probably better uh, to do something. I'm so ready for this race tomorrow. The course looks absolutely horrific tomorrow. Um, Leeds Uni have been uploading little clips onto their Instagram and it looks really really bad. I'm kind of looking forward to that in a weird way. It should be good. Saturday, the day of the race, about eight o'clock now. Um, last night, for context, we tried to get dinner, ended up going to Morrison's for some like breakfast and food, and then tried to go to this really dodgy Western themed place for dinner. Decided that was a bit too risky the night before a race. Ended up with our best bet being a wrap from Mackey's, which is shameful to say the least, and probably not the best pre race fueling, but there we go. That was the thing that's least likely to give us food poisoning, honestly. Came back to the hotel. I slept like absolute shit. The wind was really loud and I don't know, just couldn't get sleep. So that's gonna be a fun thing to contend with. Actually quite tired. The legs feel all good and that's all we need. As long as I can stay awake for 40 minutes or so, we'll be grand. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take the GoPro around with me. It's just gonna be something I'm gonna have to ask about when we're there. Hopefully yes, but also I could believe that they would say no. So we're just gonna have to see, hopefully we get footage from the actual race itself. Let's do this. How do you feel about the hay bales, Harry? Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Tired. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> nervous, yeah. I feel like hay bales are short enough that yeah, you can just yeah. jump over them, it's fine. Beautiful demonstration right there. Okay, we've done a little course walk and it actually doesn't look maybe as bad as we kind of first thought it would be. It's really muddy in places, but generally it's okay. It's kind of like this pre-race banana and um, kind of really grassy so maybe it won't be too bad but honestly it's kind of like it doesn't really make a difference does it in some ways just go out and run hard pretty hilly it's very much like downhill first half of a lap uphill second in the men's b race we have two short laps and then a long lap i think that's the order we're doing it um <clears throat> there's a pretty massive hill on all of the laps but yeah it'll be fine we'll see looking looking forward to it now about just over an hour to go Start the women's B race is about to happen. Then it'll be time to warm up and pretty much go for it. Go on, go on, go on. Come on, Newcastle! Go on, Newcastle! Go on, That's women's B race off, which can only mean one thing. Our race is next. Let's go! 
on, Tabby. Go on, Tabby. Go on, Tabby. Just out on the warm up, Charlotte Alexander has just won the women's short course. Got the face paint on, <laughs> heading down to the start line, ready to get in. God bless the troops. God bless America. God bless America. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your engines. Off we go, Bucks 2024, let's go. Second lap. One big lap here. This horrible hill for the last time. That was insane. That was so hard. Cross the line, give them a hand, give them a cheer, give them a shout, well done to the lot of you. The race has been over for about 10 minutes. First impressions, wow. What a fun race that was. That was so difficult, honestly. Really happy. Yeah, I feel like I pushed myself quite hard and hopefully got some good shots for the GoPro. That course is ridiculous. Honestly, the mud on that long lap was horrific. As you can see by state of my shoes um, and the socks that aren't very white anymore but what an atmosphere looking forward to watching the women's and men's a races <laughs> Women's race won by Amelia Quirk by a long way, insane running. Men's race is about to start now. Um, my money's still on Will Barnico, but yeah, we'll see. What a day, what a day. How did all your races go? Oh, they're good. The, hardest, <laughs> the mental battle, and I think John will agree. So we did two short laps and one long lap, and the long lap, honestly, the worst. Worst experience of my life. You guys we had to do two of them. Um, yeah, I can, on, I can honestly say I, I had like stars fizzing in my eyes, so I thought I was gonna pass out. So <laughs> the worst, the worst thing I've ever done in my Basically, life. Basically, everyone loved it. <laughs> 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 So that was it, that was the day's racing done. Now all that was left to do is head back to the hotel and start the celebrations. We headed back to the hotel, got showered, got changed, quickly went back out again, went into Bradford to go to Pizza Express for food, which was really good. Then we ended up going into Leeds and going to the official after party, which was absolutely amazing. <laughs> 
back to the hotel very, very late, but luckily it wasn't an early start the next day uh, and we got a coach back to Newcastle. And that's where we get into this video, which is a very tired me talking to some very tired NUXC members. Final thoughts on the weekend are, it was really, really great fun and we need a lot of sleep now. Yeah. So that is, it's the Sunday now, just got back to Newcastle. Um, and that is the weekend over, that was Bucks 2024. <laughs> Some people have more energy than other people. What are your thoughts on the race? Uh, I started off too fast. Um, yeah. Second lap was very hard, and the third lap, I just wanted to drop out. Overall weekend? Oh, amazing. Great, great to do. Yeah. Massive, massive shout out to Seb, especially. Jamie. On here. Jamie. Seb and Jamie held the whole yes. thing together. Joe as well, and Peter just about yeah. made it back from India to <laughs> go on the night out. and bring the crack, bring the energy at the end of the weekend. It's been, oh, it's been a great time. It's been quality. Just the, the amount of people yeah. in itself, even though I wasn't at the race, actually. I like and comment on this social. Thanks so much to Leeds, Doss AC for sorting it. What a great course. And uh, the, uh, the social, different gravy. It's not on Strava, it didn't happen. That's it for the Bucks vlog. See you in the next one.